more pack eating. Anytime that you are working around resources, you have to one, have control over the dogs, but two, you have to control, be able, in control of the resource and control of the space. Jen, nope, go. And so if you're not in control of the space, that means one of the dogs is in control of the space and they're gonna make judgment calls according to what they see fit. And if they really want the resource, well then they're gonna invade the space or even cause problems with the other dogs. So I can, I can walk into any dog and have them yield to me. Jen, go. Good. Clark, nope, go. Good. That's what we want. We want to be able to work with those dogs. I'm working with Saber right now. Saber, nope, go. Good. I want to be able to claim whatever it is that they have as a resource to make sure that I can coach them on how to be soft amongst one another. If I don't have control over the resource, how could I possibly coach them to do better? Right? It's kind of like somebody who's you know, failed 15 marriages, they're giving you marriage advice. They're broke living out of their car and they're giving you financial advice, right? You wanna take financial advice from somebody who's very successful, marriage advice from somebody who has a very successful marriage, right? We wanna take, we wanna have the dogs taking advice from somebody who has it all under control, who has it all figured out. And if we can't do that yet, we can't do exercises like this, which means that we're gonna to have to work on the relationships with the dog. We're gonna to have to teach them how to be sensitive to body language and spatial pressure. We're gonna to have to teach them to take their aggressive responses down. She was a nasty resource guarder when we adopted her. He's got fear of other dogs, reactivity issues, and we're working on this and all of them are comfortable and feel safe enough to eat amongst one another because I control the resource, I control the other dogs, and I am that benevolent leader that's controlling the situation. You need some water, bud? Okay, checking to make sure the other dogs are not invading space. And I will address that if I need to. While well, we get Mr. Saber some water. Good job, big guy. Nope, Clark, go. Nope, go. Good. Because this is Saber's food, right? I'm advocating for Saber right now. This is not Jen and Clark's food. He didn't eat their food. He didn't bulldoze in on them. And my dogs have to understand that they can't do the same with his. Yeah, good job, Mama. Nope. Go. Clark. Go. Ten, go. Are you going to finish eating or no? Here, I'm, I'm guarding everything. I'm claiming everything for you, and you're over there doing nothing. Clark, nope. Good. There we go. That's what we want. Trust and comfort and somebody who actually successfully calls the shots. Somebody who is benevolent, somebody who is taking care of all the dogs. Clark. Good job, Saber. Good job, Sabes. Very nice. Very nice. Jen, nope. Good, very nice, good job. <laughs> we're gonna break out in sporadic play here in a second. Sporadic play and we're gonna be all over the place. Hey, we'll settle that down here for a second, too much. <laughs> 